Yo, what is up boys and welcome back to another map spotlight. I made one of these about a month ago on a map called Chernobyl Zone and you guys seem to like it so I thought I'd show another map spotlight on a really cool map today called Petra. I'm only ever going to make these videos on maps which I see is interesting, like worthy of a video by myself. And this one describes itself simply as a post-apocalyptic map. There's literally no other information on the map although it does seem to be themed maybe towards a World War 2 or World War 1 setting and we're just starting on the border of the map and we're going to move into the city itself. I don't ever normally put fog, rain or lightning on maps so I feel like this one is a perfect set for that since it is of course post-apocalyptic and as you guys should know from my Chernobyl Zone video and also from just me as a whole, I love post-apocalyptic shit. I don't know why but seeing an area where a bunch of people used to live in, I mean obviously this is a map on a video game so people didn't used to live in a video game but you know. Uh, if this were a real life thing, which it probably was at some point somewhere, um, a bunch of people lived here. Now it's been abandoned, and you can see there's a park over here, and just sort of abandoned houses, and I don't know. This map's just, it's got a nice colour palette to it. You can see there's some more industrial areas over here. We've got these hilly areas over here, which have got the same kind of buildings, but up on like this, I don't know, a small hill, which just looks really cute. On top of having all these things, you do have an airfield, you do of course have the, uh, uh, the city over here, which like I said is more like industrial and a few other zones And the reason I normally make videos on these maps is because I want to bring attention to them And I want them to be used in a mod or a mission file The last video I made on Chernobyl zone didn't ever really turn out to be anything in terms of anyone making it for a mission But I feel like this could be a really good fit for a lot more mission files and a lot more mods Just because it is a more complete map Chernobyl zone wasn't exactly finished It was still some holes in the map and whatnot this one has had constant iteration since it first came out, obviously, as you'll see on the Steam page, which you can find in the description below, it's 0.21 right now, and you will see a lot of enterable buildings, like that one over here, some of the older um, Altus and Stratus buildings, which you can see, you know, the stairs actually link up, and you can go inside them, so those work perf perfectly fine, and on the airfield, which I'm going to show you guys in a second, you will also see, in fact it's right over there, the ATC, which is destroyed right over here, and also some barracks just over here. There's actually the old ATC, which is this one right here, and then there's a new one right here, so you will find both variations of them. This does require you to have cup core installed, which is why you will notice there is some armor two buildings inside. For the most part, I guess most of them are all the Australia's buildings, like these ones over here, but they are all destroyed variants of those buildings, obviously, to show the believable, this place has been fucked up kind of scenario. You can see this is the old ATC right here, which of course you can go ahead and enter. And then you've got the new ATC right here, which has been struck by lightning or I don't know what the fuck's happened. And you can enter that right at the bottom over here. Over here you'll find a few hangers as well, which I'm not sure if those are actually enterable. Because this does use cup, so maybe they are, or not enterable, but I'm not sure if there's a button that you can press over here. It doesn't look like it, so these are just for normal hangers. And then you've got a bunch of barracks over here, which is where you're going to find, if it was a scenario, all of the dank loot and all the dank memes. This is a pretty fucking big airfield, although there isn't too many uh, things in terms of markings or anything on it. But you can see, even the map, the core edges of it, uh, you've got the, in fact there's two words contrary to one another. The edges of the map, those are not core edges, the edges of the map you will see go on for a while. You've got a river which goes through the entire thing right over here, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to go over to the industrial area now and show you guys what that's like. Again, some more no buildings, armor 2 buildings. Armor, wait, that's an armor 2 building. Armor 2 building, armor 2 building, armor 2 building. Never mind, this is just a shit ton of armor 2 buildings. You can see this one over here with the ladders and whatnot. You guys will recognize it. A lot of these new maps deserve a lot of attention. In fact, this one's even using a fire station as a train parking spot, which is really fucking cute. And actually looks pretty, pretty good, to be honest. But yeah, a lot of these maps don't receive any attention other than from random people saying, yeah, this is cool, but they never actually get used for anything. And I would really like to see this map being used at some point. Uh, like I said, the only time I'm ever going to make a map, a map spotlight is when I think that it should be used for something. Like, there's a decent amount of maps on the workshop which uh, look good but aren't used for anything. But that's because, honestly, they couldn't be used in a scenario, in my opinion. But this one, I feel like it could be. Using a World War II mod, which I'm starting to believe more and more while playing through this. Yeah, it is World War II themed. Uh, World War II mod in this for Wasteland or something like that would be pretty awesome as well. We've got this beautiful bridge in the middle which you can go under. It actually reminds me a lot of Essica, which also is of course a post-apocalyptic map. Uh, the developer of Essica has been constantly adding new things to that, making it so now there's underground areas and stuff like that, which unfortunately this map, as far as you can see, doesn't have anything in terms of underground. 
which kind of sucks, but still does undoubtedly do uh, a lot of justice for the post-apocalyptic name. Probably one of the best post-apocalyptic maps that there is on Armor 3 right now. It's good to see that even though Apex has been released in just, I think, 10 days now, it's been released on July the 11th, uh, with obviously the new Snow map, people are still trying to make their own unique maps and making something which is actually different. A lot of maps so far for Armor 3, since it's been out for, what, three years now almost, I think, maybe I'm completely wrong, a lot of those maps were very similar to old maps like Shinaris, uh, Serrani, I can't really think of how many examples which are kind of similar to those maps, but the point is, they don't do anything that's that crazy different. This one's got this nice white palette to it, and everything's fucking blown to hell, and it's pretty awesome. I don't even know what this building is here. I guess it might be the, uh, yeah, this is the the Conquer Industrial Building actually destroyed, which I've never seen the model for this building before. Spooky. So that's pretty cool. And obviously, even though a lot of these buildings are destroyed, you are going to still be able to enter up inside them and use them for PvP, etc. Okay, I said this map uh, doesn't have any errors with it. I mean, obviously it's still a work in progress, but why is, there a, why is this in the middle of a road? I don't know. Other than that, it's perfect. It's literally perfect. We're going to have a look on the edge of a map quickly as well. I mean, obviously there is going to be some roads which lead off into nowhere. And in terms of combat and possibility of having scenarios, yeah, these places are incredibly fucking dull. There's nothing special about them. It's just trees after trees after trees. As you head a bit more inland, you will find the river again and eventually uh, the road which leads you into the city. And also all these bridges which will bring you across uh, small bodies of water, or in this case, small bodies of uh, trees. But anyway, I think that pretty much wraps up this map. If you guys would like to see some more map spotlights, then make sure to drop a like and a comment. Or if this is completely boring to watch, then that's okay. Just tell me it's shit and leave a dislike and I won't be too hurt, don't worry. I've got limited options right now, as I've said over and over again on my laptop, and I thought this map was worth showing off. So, here it is, Petra, the World War II, or maybe not World War II, post-apocalyptic map. He's in Cup Core. It's pretty beautiful. And if you guys want to check out the map for yourself, or make a mission for it, please do that. There'll be a link in the description below. You can go check it out there. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and all good stuff. I was actually playing Battlefield 1 yesterday, and this church reminds me of Battlefield 1. Um, Battlefield 1's pretty good. It's not breaking an NDA, I don't think. Fuck. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, look at that hill over there. It's beautiful. That's not me fading out the audio, by the way. That's the, the rain fading. That's nice. Very peaceful up here. Sorry, bye.